second quarter and uh, you will and has given them quite uh, a run for their money and um, this is uh, the fourth match for you and Terra they have just one match to go in the semi-final of the playoffs and uh, right now as you can see the game as I said is quite heated and earlier on we managed to catch up with some action and I do have some results for the matches that took part in the earlier course of the day and we have two teams which have gone directly into the finals and that is the Kenya Airport Authority and we have Blazers. Now yesterday I happened to visit Blazers at Strathmore and they were playing against Little Prince. Now Blazers, I said, I said yesterday I wouldn't call them the losing team and they have proved themselves quite right because yesterday they lost to Little Prince and they promised to come back with the vengeance and as I came in today I learned that they took the day and they are off to the finals of the play playoffs rather with Little Prince being, um, they have been told to pack their bags and go home and we also had uh, some other teams that played in the course of the day that is um, we had Kenya Airports Authority and we had Riara and as I have said Kenya Airports Authority are straight into the finals they registered um, a 58 to 56 win that is a very close margin a difference of just two points and as at yesterday um, Kenya Airports Authority rather had the lead they had um, an end result of 54 43 that was quite a margin that was against Riara and today they managed to to steal the show and take the game and on the ladies side we had um, Lady Bucks versus ANU and as at yesterday Lady Bucks did not manage a point against ANU and as at today they had they, they had a walkover because ANU failed to turn up and uh, giving uh, ANU a direct uh, ticket and that is the women's uh, division one match uh, today we just have uh, the division matches that is division one and division two and going on right now we have the division one match as i said and um, as of next week we'll have the finals of the kenya basketball federation league with the playoffs running on up to next week and we have a big teams which are being watched in the Kenya Basketball Federation that is Ulinzi we have KPA among others and uh, joining me right now is the team manager of Kenya Airports Authority and he is known as Frederick Musoso Frederick how are you today I'm very fine and maybe you guys are straight into the final maybe you can tell us how was the match for Kenya Airports Authority earlier in the day okay our match uh, against Ariara uh, was good we fought our best and we won the match. Considering you won both yesterday and today, what did you do better that made you um, take the game throughout? Uh, our defense. We played a defense that uh, we outshined the, the, our, our opponents, that's Riara, and we did that yesterday and today. And that's what uh, won us uh, our game today. Considering Kenya Airport's authority are straight to the final, what does this mean? For the team as compared to last season? Uh, okay, uh, for us, uh, we take it because we at the, at the beginning that was our wish to go to the final and be uh, uh, elevated to the upper uh, the division two, from division two to division one. That's where we want to be. Yes. And maybe what are you looking forward to in the final? Uh, a win. Other than just a win, maybe you can tell us about how has the league been? Who were your biggest competitors this time round? Our biggest competitors were Blazers and Riara. Now we are meeting Blazers. So it will be a match to watch. What, what are you expecting from your competition that is Blazers? Uh, we are expecting uh, they, they are good, but uh, experience. We want to learn from them. Yes. And going into the next season, what would you want improved? What would you want uh, improved rather to better this game next season? Uh, what I need is more practice for my team. Uh, we, we improve our practice session. We shall practice twice or thrice, but we want to practice five times a week. Yes. I want us to speak on a more general perspective, considering you're a team manager and you also play and you have observed this uh, league this season. In terms of facilities, in terms of competition, do you think this is enough to improve the basketball in the country or do you want something changed? 
Uh, what else should what, what I can say is the Federation should do something on the court. Uh, apart from Nyayo, we can utilize the, uh, the Kasarani facility. Yeah. Maybe um, let's just dwell a little bit more on the facilities you've mentioned, um, Nyayo and Kasarani. So uh, in terms of improvement, what exactly, let's go down to the specifics. What exactly would you want to, pro to be provided to you? Is it the balls? Is it among others? Uh, the Federation can't, uh, can't give us the ball. We, do, we, do, we buy our balls. That's from uh, the team level. Uh, Federation, I don't think they can do something more apart from the field. Yeah. And in terms of uh, financial assistance, has the Federation this time round outdone themselves or do they still have more work to do? They still have more work to do. Yeah, they, financially they are struggling. Yeah, but that is from the teams that haven't paid the league fee and whatever. But uh, they are struggling, yes. In terms of the competition that is brought to uh, competing teams in the court, is this enough for, to, to improve the basketball in the country? It's enough. It's enough. Thank you so much, and we wish you all the best as you go forward. Thank you. That is just uh, Fred Musoso, as I said, the team manager of one of the teams heading into the finals, and that is Kenya Airports Authority. Joining me right now is one of the players uh, from Blazers, a team that promised to do, rather outdo themselves, and yes, they did. So let's listen to what they have to tell us. How are you today? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. How are you feeling considering you beat Little Prince today? Feeling fantastic, man. We, we were trying to do uh, we were trying to do this yesterday. That only missed out, but we managed to get it today. So we are very happy about it. Maybe what did you do differently yes, today than yesterday considering you lost the game yesterday? Uh, more or less the 50-50 balls went out and got them. Uh, we were better, much, much better on defense. And um, the coaches did a fantastic job on the rotations and adjustments when the time was crucial. As you said yesterday, if I can remember well, your team has some prominent players. It's a big, it's a big team. Do you think this gave, gave you the upper hand uh, as compared to Little Prince? Definitely. We have so much experience in our team. I'd say probably over 100 years of basketball experience in our team. So I'm proud to say that. <laughs> Don't you think a hundred years is a little bit overrated? No, not at all. Yeah, combined all of us in the team, more than a hundred years of basketball playing time, definitely. And maybe how has the uh, league been for Blazers? How has this season's league been? I'd say it's been fantastic because uh, last year we narrowly missed out on the finals. Uh, this year we set out the target to get to the finals and we got there, so... Yeah, it's been a successful season for us. Generally, overall, what is the target of Blazers, either to proceed on? What are you targeting as a team? Our target is to win the Division Two League. We've already qualified to promote it to the Division One Upper League. So our target right now is to win the, the last mile, is to win the entire league. That's it. Yep. And what can you say about the game going on just behind you? Who do you think will take it this time? I think uh, University of Nairobi Terror is going to take this. My alma mater. So I'm rooting for them. Real bad. And I'm definitely sure they're going to take it as the progress can see, can show. Considering uh, Emiba, Emiba gave us quite a show in the first quarter. You saw them lead throughout. But in the second quarter, coming into the second quarter, we've seen your and Terra come up. What, what do you think they're doing differently this time round? I think they're running them, which is a good thing. They're younger guys, more fitter. Uh, Amoeba guys are a bit older than them. Uh, not much fit, as fit as they are. And that's, that's the key in the game, I think. Thank you so much and all the best as you go forward. <laughs> Moses, yes, as you've had, um, the teams are quite psyched for the finals and even as they go on to the finals, each team has a target and that is either for a promotion or a promotion. And as you can see, the game is still heated. The crowds are seated anticipating for the end result of this game. As we came in earlier, the hall was a bit empty, but right now I can see the stands are filling up in this game that, as I said, is very heated. And just now...